I guys see one of the best ways to understand light is to understand darkness. One of the best ways to understand prosperity is to understand poverty. The best way to understand faith is to understand fear. Life works in parallels. That's how it works. So let's look at some classic examples. If you're not sure if a woman is of God, I'm just giving an example. Let's say you're dating somebody and not, you're not sure whether ah, she, the, the qualities she has are the right qualities that you need. You know what? It's not difficult. Just go to the Bible and check what the Bible says about a strange woman and flip it over and see if she's the opposite of that. For example, in Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 11, it says that she's loud and stubborn. Her feet does not abide in her house. So three things. She's loud, she's stubborn, and her feet does not abide in her house. So flip it over. If a strange woman is loud and stubborn and her feet does not abide in her house, it automatically means that a godly woman is the opposite of loud. She's not loud, which means she's quiet. She's not stubborn, which means she's peaceful. And then her feet uh, does, does abide in her house, which means that she's purposeful. She doesn't have a vagabond or a restless spirit. So those are the three things. You just flip it over and then you find it. For example, if the Bible says that, a fool's voice is known by the multitude of words. Proverbs, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 3. That is one of the ways you know that a fool is that he talks a lot, he talks a lot, he talks a lot. All you need to do is to flip it over. If foolish people talk a lot, then wise people are quiet with their words. They are economical with their words. They don't talk a lot. They are quiet people. Now, you don't even need so many verses in the Proverbs. You don't need Proverbs 10, 19 that says that... Um, in the multitude of words, one thing not seen, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. You don't even need those passages. Because the Bible has already told you who a fool is and what makes a fool a fool, that a fool's voice is known by the multitude of words. You don't need that. Finally, or next passage, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 14. He says that a fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be and what shall be after him who can tell. That is, he's not spiritually sensitive. He can't tell what shall be and what shall be after him who can tell. Why? Because he talks a lot so it tells you that one of the ways to be spiritually sensitive is to talk less is to talk less is to talk less if the bible says that mm, be still and know which means that if you are not still you will be in ignorance if stillness is a prerequisite for knowledge then lack of stillness anxiety worrisomeness eh, chaos is a prerequisite for ignorance that's just it. It's called inversion thinking. Warren Buffett was um, a student of this type of thinking. Jesus was. But let me just give you one more. If the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, it means fear comes by hearing and hearing by the word that is not of God. Period. I hope this works well for you. Kemi, she says, I should say.